Today I'll be reviewing the RC Tumblebee from Newbright and I got this one at Walmart for $20 and make sure to check the description below the link will be posted there and um sorry if this video isn't as good as my others or it may be better but yeah that's your opinion but this video may not be that good because I need two hands to operate this and nobody's gonna hold the camera for me so yeah and I could I could use a tripod but like this thing's really unpredictable and it's like pretty hard to control so and the tripod I, I'm gonna need it to keep moving around which doesn't happen so yeah I'll try my best but other than that I hope you enjoy the video and please subscribe or give a like if you like it and if you subscribe you can also check out my other videos so yeah so um i'm gonna show you guys some of the things the rc tumblebee can do and a few of them it can do flips and um you can also do 360 degree spins so i'm gonna show you the spin first so basically all you do on the controller is you press the left one forward and the right one backward or vice versa so and it does look kind of cool so yeah the next one is a flips so yeah basically all you do on the controller for the flips is um you push both of the joysticks forward and then you pull them backward and the tumblebee flips it's not too good of a flip and usually you, you land upside down but it's okay -ish. so yeah so as i said you'll usually land backward and sometimes rarely though you get like some headstands and then it'll flip on its head and then it'll go down but that's only sometimes and it's pretty rare to get. So um, I would also recommend this uh, RC Tumblebee for indoor use only because um, if you actually look at the uh, the RC B, because I can't use the word car truck. So it has two wheels and then a plastic tire, which is kind of bad quality for like outdoor use and it gets like really badly damaged. And then there's a nose cone, like down there, that thingy. And also, whenever you're doing flips or something, if you're doing it outdoors, it'll like usually get damaged and scratched. So, I wouldn't really recommend it for outdoor use. So, yeah. Also, if you do manage to buy it in the manual, it says do not drive on sand. And sand is basically just like worn down pieces of like tiny rocks. So, that's mostly what you get on like worn down streets. So, I wouldn't really recommend it. Now I'm going to show you guys another reason with the back tires. It's so good. Uh, for, like, wooden floors or hard floors either. So, like, so if when you're accelerating, it goes pretty fast. And um, so when you slow down, the back tire will go down and scratch the flooring. So... Yeah. That's why it's better for like the carpet. And that'll be it for today, guys. Um, subscribe to my channel and give a few likes. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.